for me, it was actually uh, sad stuff when I was growing up. And I, I, I was, lived in a family, both my mother and my father's side. There were a lot of uh, early deaths. And uh, I went to a lot of funerals. And I started to be in touch with, well, this is really this toll of diseases for young people. I mean, they were in their 50s and 60s was profound. So it really uh, brought, uh, I was the first doctor ever in, in my family and still the only one. So, it, but it had a big motivating kind of inspirational uh, effect. Could I do something and, and make a difference over the years ahead? Why cardiology? That was uh, something that was entirely uh, uh, serendipity at play. I was at UC San Francisco in the late 70s, early 80s, the most exciting time in the field of cardiology. The first clot dissolving therapy for heart attack, the first balloon angioplasty to declog the coronary arteries, and I was right in the midst of it. And so I was captured by the excitement. Fast forward uh, a decade from now, what is our expectation around cardiovascular disease? What are you going to help solve? We're going to prevent this disease like never before, and uh, we're going to gradually uh, make heart attack a rare entity. Uh, we're going to make uh, big changes in things like arrhythmias, like atrial fibrillation. Uh, and so eventually we're going to uh, be on our way to conquering this disease that is truly preventing it. And 10 years from now, because all the breakthroughs, this is the most exciting time in medicine. And it's such in contrast to the bleak picture of our economy. They are totally diametrically opposed. There's never been more a discovery, excitement phase in all of uh, medical research. So I'm hoping in a decade we'll see the fruits of all that effort and, and uh, progress. So you don't mind standing up as a rock star of science if that means that people will pay attention to research and understand that they, we need more funding to get to the future. We, we certainly need more funding. We certainly need more attention and priority. and. Uh, the hope is that with programs like this, we'll be able to capture people's uh, imagination of what, if we were to put more into research, get more people involved, get the public truly involved, we could take, uh, fast forward, the inevitable, remarkable progress that's going to uh, go from here.